Prowa 15 kW to 25 kW MID series are dual MPPT, three-phase grid tight solar inverters with a new design of touch key and OLED display, 40% lighter and more compact compared with the last generation. In this video, we will present a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning and basic troubleshootings. Tools to prepare Electric driller, hammer, pliers, combination plier, knife, cross screwdriver, flat screwdriver, multimeter, etc. Open the packing box. Take out the inverter and all the accessories. Check all the components according to the packing list in User Manual Chapter 4. Make sure there's no missing or damaged component. Refer to User Manual Chapter 5.1 to make sure basic installation requirements have been satisfied. In order to ensure normal operation and maintenance, please spare sufficient space for the inverter. Put the racket onto the wall and drill four holes. Fit the expansion screw kits to fix the bracket onto the wall firmly. Hand the inverter on the bracket. Tighten the M5 safety bolts on the left side to make the inverter completely secured. It is required to install the inverter under a shelter to avoid direct sunlight and rain. Grounding For safety reasons, it is required to do grounding for the inverter before connecting AC, DC, or communication cables. AC wiring. Please choose eligible cables for AC wiring referring to the table of cable specifications in the user manual. Thread the five cables, Life 1, Level 2, Level 3, Neutro, and Earth through the screw sleeve and the metal waterproof cover. Then use scripting plier to make zero type terminals for each cable. Take out all the screws from the inverter AC connector. Lock the cables onto the inverter AC connector by tightening the screws and fix the waterproof cover to the bottom of the inverter with four M4x10mm screws. PV Connection Check every PV string's polarity and DC voltage with a multimeter. Then plug the PV string connectors to inverter PV input. Please note the startup voltage for 15 to 25 kW TL3X series inverters is 250 volts. After powering on, inverter will not connect to the grid if the string voltage is below 250 volts. For how to assemble PV connectors, please refer to GrowWatt SP2000 installation video. The MID series inverter has an 8-pin signal connector, which is for external communication and monitoring. Please refer to user manual chapter 10 to inquire the function of each pin. We can utilize the RS485 port of the signal connector to achieve Shine Master integration monitoring system. And the USB-A interface on inverter supports Wi-Fi X and Shine Link X smart monitoring. In addition, you can also use the USB-A port to upgrade the inverter firmware with a USB flash drive. Startup Turn on the DC breaker of the inverter. As long as the input voltage is higher than 250 volts, the inverter will power up and display a message on LCD screen, country or region. Choose the corresponding option as per your country or region and select the system language. Then inverter will display no AC connection. Switch on the AC breaker. Inverter shall start a self-test countdown. After the countdown, inverter will connect to the grid. During normal operation, the leaf-shaped indicator stays solid green. Inverter status. Waiting status. Inverter has powered up with a solid green indicator, but won't start generating until PV voltage reaches above 250 volts. Normal status 
inverter is operating normally with a solid green indicator. Warning status. A warning occurs, inverter has a blinking red indicator but won't stop generating. Fault status. A fault occurs and inverter stops working, indicator stays solid red. Human-machine interaction. There is a touch button on inverter display panel, allowing users to proceed human-machine interaction and it's easy to operate. Single touch, shift and plus. Double touch, confirm and set. Triple touch, back exit. When inverter goes into normal status after startup, the main interface on LCD screen will be showing a shifting inverter basic operation interface. Current power, daily yield, total yield, AC information, PV1 information, PV2 information, parameter settings, and more information. Regarding to parameter settings, there are general and advanced settings, and the general settings are most useful as users can do language setting, inverter communication address setting, date setting, and time setting. Please note, when there is no GrowWatt monitoring device installed, please manually set the correct date and time for the inverter. The advanced settings require a password before entering setup. Please refer to the user manual chapter 9.1 to know more about the advanced settings. Attention! Do not do the settings you are not familiar with while the inverter is working normally. It's recommended operate under appropriate instructions. Warning is a general running alarm. It will not affect the inverter's power production. The warning message on the LCD display is only to remind you. The most common warning message is fan fault. As a tear and wear part, fan cleaning and replacing may be required after long time operation. For outdoor installations, we suggest cleaning for fans semi-yearly. Switch off the inverter DC switch, AC switch, According to different model, unscrew the inverter protective part firstly. Unscrew the fan cover screws. Disconnect the fan cables. Take off fans. Use wet towel to clean it. Replace faulty or damaged fans. Inverter will show an error message or error code on OLED display if there is a fault occurs. Please refer to the user manual for complete error list and description. There is also a detailed troubleshooting guide available on GrowWars website. In order to manage the grid stability, the grid company regulated a permitted grid connect voltage range. If the local grid voltage is beyond that range, the inverter must stop working. Usually, there is not inverter problem. Please contact your installer to check AC voltage on inverter terminal or contact Rowa service representative for further inquiry.